Artificial intelligence is the field where we humans try to make computers as smart or as capable as ourselves, especially in terms of problem solving and decision making. Uh, we're pretty good at artificial narrow intelligence, where we can teach computers to be very good at one task, but one task only. So think of IBM Deep Blue and Kasparov playing chess 20 years ago. But we still have quite a long way to go for artificial superintelligence, where the capacity of computers exceed our capacities. How do you see this technology meet actual business needs? For example, chatbots, they're all over the place. A chatbot is a computer program designed to communicate with humans over the internet. By artificially replicating patterns in human interaction and human conversations, the chatbot can respond to your questions and basically answer them just like a regular person. Chatbots work on the principle of machine learning, which is a collection of techniques that are a subset of artificial intelligence. What makes chatbots special is their capability to learn by themselves. That's what makes machine learning special as well. They learn from lots of data they have access to, and they basically make themselves even better as they interact with humans. Think of Amazon Alexa or Apple Siri. They are voice-operated digital assistants that also work on machine learning uh, principles. So if you ask your digital assistant, so what's the weather like today? The quality of the answer depends on the latest weather reports it can access to. So the sophistication of a chatbot depends on the software that underlies it, as well as the data it has access to. Because chatbots, for instance, customer support ch chatbots, improve themselves using lots and lots of data they have access to, such as customer logs. Another application of artificial intelligence is object recognition. And that's where the fully automated project comes in. Think of illumination, robots, digital cameras, sensors and other AI agents. Interesting to think about the shop, the hospital, the classroom in future when everything will be about monitoring. A good example of object recognition use is in the retail industry. For instance, think of Amazon Go stores and their walkout technology. When you walk into an Amazon Go store, it recognizes you that you are physically in the store by using a selection of technologies like RFID tags, sensors, cameras, and etc. So when you walk into the store, they recognize that you're in the store and when you take an item from the shelf, they also recognize that. So that when you walk out of the store with your items, all they need to do is to send you a receipt at the end of the day. Organizations must have a clear strategy and top management support to get started with artificial intelligence. A recent Gartner Group research shows that about 35% of organizations still struggle to find that first case, first use case. So it's really not easy. But I think focusing on a couple of key questions that would help organizations find a real good case for artificial intelligence projects. Questions such as, why are you doing this project? Who are you creating value for? Which technological framework are you going to employ? And how will you deliver the project? Of course, all this assuming that you have the necessary IT infrastructure as well as the right skill set in the organization. Again, a recent study by Gartner of CIOs tells us that almost half of CIOs struggle with finding the right skills and hire them to the organization. So it seems that talent acquisition is going to be a hurdle when it comes to moving AI forward.